adventure awaits. Get ready to dive into a new immersive mobile game that's taking players on an epic journey filled with hidden treasures, challenging quests, and powerful enemies. Adam is here to tell us all about it. Adam, welcome to the show. Thank you, really nice to be here. This is going to be so much fun to talk about. Okay, what is the inspiration behind creating the, que the Quest Swords of Secret? Well, I... Um really wanted to turn Utah into a video game and the world all around us. And so you download this mobile app and you're able to see mm -hmm. the world in a new way. You can see castles, you can see monsters, you can see wizards. And this game is going to take you on a quest. And our hope is that everybody will, as they're playing it, look at their neighborhood and their state and their city in a new way I and look at it a place it. of discovery. I am such a fantasy fan, and so is my husband. Oh, like good. we love Lord of the Rings, we love Harry yes. Potter. So to make my neighborhood, you know, fantastical is so exciting to us. Okay, for someone that's not familiar with Swords of Secret, talk to us about it. What's it all about? So you download a mobile app, and uh -huh. as you walk around your neighborhood, your character moves, and you'll encounter these landmarks that give you quests that take you to different places. Yeah, and so you have to level up, you have to find gear. But what's cool is we've actually hidden real treasure all across Utah in little capsules where yeah. there's, um, it's almost like a geocache. Yeah. And then also the big treasure. I have to open this. The big treasure, look at this. I'm so obsessed with this. I love it. Okay, look at that. Ah, when he came in with a treasure chest, I was like, there's a treasure chest on set today. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good time with treasure, right? And so a chest like this will be hidden nearby and is hidden nearby. And somebody's probably going to find it in the next mm -hmm. couple of weeks. So if you want to get on and start playing, now is the time. There's $5,000 up for grabs. And players have been playing all summer long and uh, battling monsters and going through these yeah. quests to discover the location of the treasure. Can you see me getting all giddy? I'm like, tell me more, tell me more. So how is this game helping participants engage in Utah's community? Well, one example is that we actually just launched a special quest in the city of Linden okay. where we mapped to the city of Linden special locations. You start at the community center there uh -huh. and you're going to go out and visit um, uh, landmarks in Linden. We did this with Pleasant Grove as well, and they were so excited about. It. They actually hid a real Viking shield in the hills oh, of that's Pleasant Grove. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Okay. All right. We've got Vikings. We've got treasure. So walk us through the development process of the game. Okay. So um, I own a game development studio, and there's mm -hmm. a couple of indie devs who have been working on other things. But we got together and we said, okay, we're going to code this and make the art and work through it. And now it's in what's called a closed beta. It means it's not quite finished yet, but you can still play and you can play test. We yeah. have about 1,000 people who have downloaded and started playing. I love and so this. they give feedback, and we get to hear what they think about the game and where they want to see improvements or where, what direction they want to see it go. Adam, I am so excited. I know what I'm downloading the minute the show is over. Where can we go for more information? So go to swordsofsecret.com, uh -huh. and then you can start your quest there, and you can also follow us on uh, Instagram at swordsofsecretofficial. Perfect. Adam, thank you so much for being with us. I'm going to do everything I can to not take this and hide it in my pocket. I'll keep it there. Thanks, Adam. You're very welcome.